Frank, this is Vegeta8259 again, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Master Grade Zaku version 2.0. And uh, this is not the standard version, this is the Kawaguchi Pro Shop uh, Limited Edition Zaku. Basically, the only difference between this version and the original Zaku 2.0 is that this one is molded in a uh, desert color scheme and it comes with some extra weapons and a different set of decals. Now uh, to start off uh, the normal kit is going to be molded in your standard Zaku colors the uh, you know the light green and the dark green but this kit is molded in a sandy brown and then a darker brown and it's got a few black parts on the chest the feet, the knees, the elbows, the backpack is a dark brown as well. It's got clear parts for the face and the eye. And uh, one point I really like about this kit is that the inner frame is molded in that uh, gunmetal silvery metallic color that the uh, shards counterattack uh, high grades were molded in. So that was definitely a uh, plus. Now on to articulation. His arms go 360. They come out from the torso that far. They only go forward. They don't go back or up or down. But still, that's pretty nice. The shield can come out. And this little... Uh, metal arm right here has two joints on it so the shield can rotate around and go up it can move around to the back to the front pretty much anywhere you need it to go he rotates below the shoulder as a double jointed elbow which can bend up a full 180 he's got a very slight joint right here at the bottom of the arm He's got a ball joint wrist, and he's got the standard 2.0 hands. He's got a ball joint thumb, and then each finger is on a ball joint, and each finger has a joint in it. Although these three fingers are connected together at the bottom, you could cut them apart if you want. I don't think I'm going to because I've started noticing... Uh, a lot of issues with the fingers getting really loose by doing that so I think I'm just gonna leave them be on this kit the head can rotate a bit not that far and I think his head just came loose and he's got this little gear in here so that when you rotate his head the mono eye moves and see when you rotate his head, I don't know if you can see it too well, but the mono, mono eye moves whenever you turn his neck. And it can go up and down as well. There's a ball joint in there. The torso, I forgot to mention this uh, shoulder armor can come off just like the shield and rotate and go pretty much anywhere it needs to. The torso has a joint in it where it can bend forward and then there's a ball joint waist so he can go forward and back and side to side the skirt armor the front skirts are on ball joints so they can move pretty freely the side skirts are also on ball joints so they can go up and down and then there's a little function where they can move backwards like so I guess to give the legs more forward mobility and then the back skirts are also on ball joints so they can go up and down and then you've got a little clip here for holding the uh, bazooka the legs can go quite a ways forward they can go quite a oh, well they can go back but not as far back as they can go forward. They can go out quite a bit. 
and then the knees are double jointed so they can bend almost a full 180 and the knee armor is connected to the knee joint instead of the leg so it moves separately from uh, the lower leg here and the uh, little energy cables here the energy cables on the torso and the head have uh, like little poly cap cables that they run along so they're not very poseable but these energy cables just have a spring inside them so they're very very flexible so you don't need to worry about them bending out of shape or breaking or anything because that's just a spring right there anyway the ankles can go forward and back and side to side a bit uh, it's actually double jointed ankle down in there then the end of the foot can go forward quite a bit can't go down any but that forward motion would really help with kneeling and some other more dynamic poses <clears throat> and I guess that's about it for the Zaku himself I'm gonna end this part of the review right now because this is gonna have to be a two-part review so I will see you at part two